a lot of time will be spent in the engineer's seat. So climb aboard to get started. Okay, so hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Train Sim World video. Today I've got for you the DLC. Yeah, that's right, the DLC. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and close the door. We're doing the introduction right now to the M7, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, you guys can have a little look around if you want to. I will try and show you guys the train and maybe a little bit of the route and also how you actually drive one of these things. So let's go ahead and go to the cab, which actually I've never seen one of these before in my life. And uh, basically it looks like the cab is actually attached. Wait, is it? Is it in there? Oh, I see. Okay, I think this is like a security door. I see. That makes sense. All right, cool. So we sit in the side rather than in the middle. The master key is sense. used to activate the control desk. Oh, that's loud. Ow! <laughs> the reverser determines the direction of travel. Forward, please. This unit has a combined throttle brake handle, which needs to be set before beginning the startup proceed. All right, we need to before put it to max Before powering brake. up the unit, the brakes need to be charged to a safe level. And we need to charge the brakes to a safe level. Uh, which is 90 PSI. Hold the charge brakes button. Oh, up here. I see. That makes sense. I was going to say, because down on our right is actually the PSI. Um, but yeah. All right. Cool. Lights are important to let others around know that this unit... Lights are important. To unlock the doors, a key must be inserted into oh, the wow. corresponding door control panel. Okay. And then set... Do they really have to do this? That's insane! Oh wait, wow, okay cool, so when my door is open, it locks all of this area just to me. That makes sense, that's pretty cool, I like that, I like that. Okay, so we are actually loading the passengers at the minute, and while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down in this seat right here, and I wanna say, uh, thank you to the guys at Dovetail Games for giving me the key and access to this DLC. It's uh, wow, wow, wow! It's really cool. It's really cool of them to actually give this to me for free. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you for that. Anyway, we're gonna continue. We're gonna go ahead and take our key out of this thing. Uh, if I can, I take it out. There we go. We'll take our key out. I'll go ahead and sit back in my little seat and I'll close the door. I Increase can't, the master I controller can't. to start <laughs> moving. I can't close the Be door. Be careful not to apply too much power too quickly. Otherwise, you might damage the couplings or upset the passengers. I don't want to do any, either of those th Look at that guy. He's creepy. He's creepy. All right, there we go. We're going to go to 48%. That seems too high, though. Let's go to, like, 11. 11%. There we go. We're going three miles an hour. Oh, diggity dog. Yes, that's cool. So if you're wondering how big it is, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got, we got six cars long. Uh, and that, that's pretty big, actually. And these cars themselves look quite long. Um, so I guess we don't go around too many corners. Anyway, reach a speed of 10 km No, 10 miles an hour. 16 kilometers an hour. Okay, we'll try and do that. There we go. Max power. Yeah! Super speed. All right, cool. Wait. Use the muscle control to reach 25. Oh, okay. I'll reach 25 for you. Don't worry about that. All right, 25 miles an hour, please. That would be great. Oh, man, beautiful. This is cool. Coasting is a method used to easily move without engaging. All right, I mean coasting. We will be stopping at Country Life Press a little further up the line and performing another passenger loading procedure. What's that? What's this right here? I don't know what this is. Also, can I walk around during the tutorial now? Yes, thank God for that. Okay, that was one of the things I didn't like about it before is that I couldn't walk around. Also, is this door supposed to be like this when we're driving? Or am I supposed to be locked up in the corner when we're driving? I'm not entirely sure how it works. Um, also, I'm not entirely sure how we put this seat back to... Why did it beep? We're on our final approach to Country Life Press and need to start applying a small amount of... 20% break, please. I don't know what it beeped for. That was weird. That was very strange. Anyway, we're stopping at this platform here, which appears to be... A bendy platform, which is weird, but there you go. Uh, is that actually the horn? Oh, that's pretty cool. Acknowledge. That's weird that that's on like a, a donga like that. But we could just do this if we want to. That's pretty cool. There we go. We're slowly coming in for a parking. I was going to say for a landing, but we're definitely not landing. Also, we might be able to jump out in front of our train. 
that's a bad thing. I guess that's, yeah, it's probably a bad thing. Anyway, we've gone ahead and we've stopped a million miles away from where we should have. But the, the game told me to do that, so there Good you go. Good work. Hello. Like before, open the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. Like before. Wait. Oh, there's one over here as well. Okay, I see. That makes sense. That does make sense. All right, open the door, please. Is that off or on? There we go. Open the door. Thank you. There we go. We're letting all the passengers off and letting some passengers on. This guy in his Adidas tracksuit is looking hot. He is looking so hot. Nice. Alrighty, well, I guess while we are actually stopped here looking at passengers or picking up the passengers, I'm going to go ahead and have a little walk down the train or on the outside of the train. So as you guys can see, the cars are actually really long. I don't know whether they're longer than normal ones, but they do seem really big. Uh, if we go backwards through these doors right here, I can't open the... I can't open the door. I can open that door, but I can't open this one. That's really weird. I don't know whether that's supposed to be like that or not, but um, yeah, I can't open the door. So that's a bit annoying. Yeah, I can't get through. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna have to go outside to have a little walk through anyway. Uh, so that's fine. Nice. All right, cool. I guess all the past all the cars are actually very similar. Um, on these tra- Oh, wait, we can't actually walk through from that one to that one. No, wait, we can, though. Hold on, can we? Can I open this door? And then can we walk across there? Oh, nice. So you can sort of go outside. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to run back to the front of the train, and I'm going to get back inside. And we're going to have to close the doors, and then we're going to have to get it going. So I'm going to go back inside. I'm going to go ahead and open this door. I'm going to go ahead and close the door again. I'm going to go ahead and close these doors. There we go. Take my key out, please. Thank you. Turn it to off. Go ahead and take my key out. Go ahead and sit down. Now, and... take what you've learned and put it into practice. Complete the next stop at Garden City on your own. Okay. I'll do it all by myself. Oh, it's 0.6 miles away, but I will. I'll do it all by myself. Yeah. Can I close the door? Yes, I can. Nice. Awesome. Uh, uncoupling switch off. Not entirely sure what that means. There's the emergency brake up there. Don't know why it's so high. Imagine having to reach for that when you're, like, about to crash. That would be insanely difficult to do. It really would. That blind does absolutely nothing for me. Nice. And do we have a blind here or just a window? Just a window. All right, cool. Well, a lot of these things don't do anything for me. Anyway, we're going to go to full power, and we're going to get to the next station very quickly, because that seems like a good idea. Also, we are... Oh, it's beeping. It's beeping because we're going too fast. All right, we're just going to coast all the way there. We might even derail. We might even derail. That would suck. That would suck so much. But no, I think we're okay. I think we're fine. All right, we're back inside. We are back inside. We're only 800 yards away from where I'm supposed to be stopping. So we're going to go ahead and apply some breakages. Uh, but not too much. Not too much. We're going to go min break. Actually, no. We're going to go straight to coasting. Because we're still really far away, actually. We are really far away. Okay, I thought we were way closer, but no. We're not. All right, cool. Well, do I like these trains or this train? I do. Will I drive it more often? Maybe. It depends what kind of routes we end up doing. Because at the minute, obviously, it's in the, it's in the city. Um, and obviously, this train is supposed to be in the city, so that kind of makes sense. However, I don't know whether I like driving in the cities or not. I have no idea. Do you guys enjoy this? I don't know. Also, I don't actually know how many locomotives this comes with. I think it might just be one, but it might come with more than one. In fact, I'll go and have a look after we've parked up. Alright, so we're coming in actually kind of fast. We're going to go ahead and start applying our brakes to like 70%. And I want all of my train to be at the platform. So if we stop too short, we might have an issue. Oh, we are so close. Damn it. Alright, that works. That works. Alright, unlock so that everybody can get out. There we go. Go ahead and turn that in there. Why can't I turn it? Why can't I turn it? Oh, there we go. Bam. Go ahead and open the doors. That's all good. And I'm going to have a quick check, see if there's any more locomotives. Okay, with actually letting all those guys off, we actually finished our mission. And to answer my question, I believe it is only this, this locomotive. However, it is really detailed, and a lot of work must have went into actually building it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the DLC so far. Anyway, in the next one, I'm probably going to be playing this DLC again. And uh, hopefully we can have fun. So let's go ahead and stop this video here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.